Here's another one of my little projects that I recently finished. It's a telephone intercom system. I have several telephones here. The board that I designed will accommodate up to eight different phones and most of what's on the circuit here is for signaling the other phones. It's uh, pretty easy to wire several phones together so that you can talk between them, but the signaling is usually the critical part. What I've got is a circuit on here that decodes the touch tone from the telephones. When you push a button, it signals one of the other stations. In this case, I'm pushing the two, so station number two is making a tone, and I also added LEDs so that you could see that the station was being signaled as opposed to, say, another station, this one here, which would be station 7, I could signal that one. This would be station 8, except they didn't have enough phones to go around. And you just pick up the phone, you push the button for the station you want to talk to, sound the tone, they pick up the phone, you talk. Pretty simple. Runs on a 12-volt battery. Uh, you could probably have a couple of miles of line between the unit and the station. So you could have it at the neighbor's house, the bar in the garage, the workshop. Make use of that uh, telephone wiring that's in your house. A lot of people don't have phones anymore, but you still have the wiring. If you built something like this, you could have phones in each room and just use it as an intercom to call somebody to you know, come to dinner or whatever it is. Uh, the battery draw is about 50 milliamps when the system's in use while you're on the phone and talking. When it's hung up, it's about 50 microamps, essentially nothing. The circuit board, I've got a relay for each of the outputs, and all I'm doing is reversing the polarity of the line going out to the station to signal it. I'm using an 8870 DTMF, or touch tone decoder chip, and a 74HC237, which is a simple logic gate. It's a 3 to 8 decoder, because the output of this is binary, and I want individual outputs. And I added some LEDs onto the board so you can see as I go through the stations. So I can signal eight different stations just dialing on the touchstone pad. Number seven chattered because this phone is hooked to port number seven. And when I push the button, the thing decodes the tone. It reverses the polarity um, going to the station and also disconnects it from the talk bus and that's how it signals and makes the sounder operate and lights the LED but it's no longer on the talk circuit so it releases but then when it goes back on the talk circuit it turns on again so if you try to call yourself it'll chatter on any of the phones if I'm on this one I call one it'll chatter but normally you wouldn't do that you'd be calling station two or station seven or whatever and then to go a step further I took a cheap cordless phone that I picked up and I modified it. Most of these phones have the handset find button or the page button depending on what they called it and I wired uh, this up with a relay inside the handset so that when the reverse polarity comes across the line it triggers this button so that I can pick up the phone hit 4 and now this thing beeps so I would know somebody was calling me. If I can just hit talk and answer it, and now I'm talking. So, that's my little project.